Cliff Kingsbury looked unprepared. And the uh, funny thing is both those guys are presumably looking for new contracts. And uh, is Cliff Kingsbury going to get fired? No. What? No. No. What if he? No. 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 What no, if... no, 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 no. I mean, you look at you look at the point zero. Look at the second half under Cliff Kingsbury. Let me see if I still have these. Yeah, I do. They went to, they went to the playoffs in year three with Kyler. Hopkins got hurt. No, no, zero point zero percent chance. Cliff, Kyler, and Steve Kime were tied together, and they just had a really good season that exceeded expectations. Well, they didn't have a really good season. Because they, they went. Did. Look at those records after week yes. eight. I mean, that's, you can't collapse every single season and expect to keep your job. Like. Maybe no, you're gonna flip with you're gonna fire somebody for no. I, I don't think I. I mean I don't agree with Ryan. I do not. Think no, no. I'm just asking. You the do question. not fire him after this season, but he is on the hot seat going into next year because if there's another collapse, then you got to think about firing him. It is weird that you think that the, you can just collapse over the second half of the season every single year and like ah, you got us to the playoffs. It's fine and got your doors blown Princeton, off. Princeton, you would be the GM of the Bengals. We're just losing in the wild card round every year, and you'd be happy with it. They they hadn't been to the playoffs in a, in a hot minute, guys. It was Carson Palmer who took him last, right? In 2015. But they I mean, been to the playoffs in 2015. Well, how do you explain going 15, 15, and one? Doing? Cliff Kingsbury is getting fired. What are you talking about? I'm asking a question. 11 and six. That is the dumbest thing I've heard of this podcast so far. And I said Matthew Stafford's going to the Hall of Fame. I asked the question, number one. And number two, the question you have yet to answer, how do you explain going 15, five, and one? Over the first eight weeks of the season, and then just forgetting how to play coach football over not over the final uh, eight weeks, go nine and twenty, and you're like, well, it's, he's definitely coming back. I mean, he's doing a great job. It is, it is, it is definitely a problem to go nine and twenty after week seven of the season. That's weird, and I don't really understand it. Um, My point is this: Kyler got hurt both. Have years you ever heard of this guy that got fired for going nine and seven in back to back years? Dude, you're not you're not going to the playoffs. Your coach who went eleven and six. Stranger things have happened, is my point. Marty Schottenheimer got fired for going 14 and 2. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't hear he complained about that. Where was the podcast then, Brenton? <laughs> Why weren't we defending him? He was too busy hugging Philip his Philip Rivers. Well, uh, look, here's the, the fact of the matter is that he's 24 and 24 and one. He's he's exactly 500. Uh, if you throw in the playoff game, then he has a losing record in his three seasons. And like I said, I don't think that he deserves to be fired. That's what Wilson. That's crazy Wilson talking. But, That's the question that I asked. But, Wilson, I do agree with, I think, where your point was going to be and, and is that, yes, I don't see how Brinson doesn't understand this, that he should be on the hot seat going into next year. If if, if the Cardinals start 7-1 and one next year and, again, fade down the stretch and go 9-8 and eight or 10-7 and seven and lose in the first round of the playoffs again, you've got to start asking questions. Or if they fade and don't make the playoffs, I mean, you've got to ask yourself, and, and, and we've seen the research on this, this isn't just – the Arizona Cardinals, every team Cliff Kingsbury has ever coached has faded in the second half in almost every season that he has been a coach at the professional level or the college level. So, yes, he should be on the hot seat going into 2022. That is that is asinine. Well, you're you're he should be in the hot seat. He went he went 11 and six. He went nine and 20 over the second half of the three years he's been. Dude, there. If you go 11 and six in the best division in football. You're and not they, on the and hot. eleven and six is not something to brag about when you started seven and zero. <laughs> he about he started seven and zero. We went four and six. This dude, this is three games. Games. Cole McCoy. This dude's been watching too many uh, NCAA six basketball of your final games. Final ten games is not yeah, three. Three of those games where they went four and seven were with Colt McCoy. Brinson. Hey, listen, if you love mediocrity or something less than that, then well, Cliff dude, every out. team should hope they go eleven and six for the rest of time. What are you talking how about? about nine, eleven how, wins is great. How about nine and twenty? Talking about, I, it is hard to me. It's hard for me to understand that you don't get the nine and twenty part, and then getting your doors blown off in your first playoff appearance. I mean, you lost your first playoff game. That's tough. you didn't lose it. You got absolutely demoralized. You want to fire somebody who just took the team? I didn't. No. I, again, I hot asked seat. the hot question. Hot seat going to twenty twenty two. No, I, I wholeheartedly disagree. All right, well, I'd be close to the hot seat. We can I'm revisit gonna, this when he, Yeah, I would bet. I would bet that there's a better chance of. Your hair plugs falling out? I don't know. It's cold up here. Cliff Kingsbury getting an extension this offseason than there is of him being on Breach's little hot seat list. Well, you can include me on that hot seat list because I'm with it. And Debo, please make a note when we have to do the emergency pod in late September next year because Cliff Kingsbury got fired. 
please save this so we can we can run this. This will be the show. Well, he's not getting fired in September. He goes four and in September. He'll when they come out with first head coach fired odds, he'll be in the top five next year. Yes. I uh, I don't think so. He stinks. I, Nick Sirianni, I'm not saying he doesn't stink. I'm just telling you. If Wait you a second. Hurdles, you just said he doesn't stink. All right. Let me ask you this, Brenton. Where does he rank on your list of best coaches in the NFC West? Oh, boy. E hey boy. Well, I mean, they're all just. Hey boy. I need a ranking. All just, Give me like, a ranking. No, Phil. They're all just three. genealogical spinoffs of Pete Carroll. <laughs> like smart, rank, rank them. smart coaches who just won't go for it. Rank them. He's deflecting. Yeah. He's uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, Cliff is. Cliff is. I mean, Cliff's probably four. Oh, he's, okay. he's still a Brinsoning. <laughs> <laughs> Just made that up. I like so, that. do you keep if you have the worst if you have the worst coach in the division? Are you going to keep him if he struggles in twenty twenty two? Or are you going to try and replace him with someone who's not the worst coach in the division? <laughs> he had a better uh, record than the Bengals this year, and you're trying to give your coach coach of the year. Yeah, and you know what? The Bengals, <laughs> the Bengals are in the divisional round. Brinson, I know, Cliff Kingsbury isn't. They and play he, the Raiders. With that's an interim a, coach and no Henry Ruggs. They just played the Rams with Hall of Famer Matthew Stafford and Sean McVay. There are eight won. teams left. The Cardinals were the final undefeated team. They were not one of the final eight teams. The Bengals oh, had one of the worst team. records in football <laughs> last year and are one of the final eight teams. By the way, it's not Breach, even comparable. Breach, that Brinson dunk right there, that's like they call a TV timeout. Brinson <laughs> takes the chair, puts it underneath the goal, and runs up and ducks on it while no one's watching. Phil, Phil Brinson definitely has like a pH on it for rivers and fish. That's, yeah, that was that's my best work. I might Ethan Miller came up with that I'm in out. the chat. I might uh, hit that put thing over the screen. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button. Look, you cannot. No one who goes. I can't believe Debo agrees with this. No one who goes eleven and six. Debo was ready to move from Sirianni in the first half of the season because he didn't like what he was seeing. No one who goes eleven and six is on the hot seat the next year going into the year. Okay. Except Mike McCarthy. Obviously. Mike McCarthy went 12 and five. I mean, yeah. What are we talking about? We literally had this conversation 24 hours ago. Yeah, it's, no, 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 no. You know what it is? You are blinded by the handsomeness. If Mike McCarthy looked like Cliff Kingsbury, he would have a lifetime contract. Blinded you, know, you, by you, guys, the light. you guys are ignoring the dynamics of the organization. And how these things have come together. No, we're just talking about in general terms. What were the dynamics, Brenton? They 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 fired Steve Wilkes after one year, and then they drafted Kyler Murray specifically because of Cliff Kingsbury, who came in to coach Kyler Murray. And Kyler, with Murray Kyler he does not have MVP a winning record in the NFL. Midway through the season, they went eleven and six. They made the playoffs. He got hurt. They still went one and two with or two and one with with Colt McCoy at the quarterback position. Kime, Bidwell, and Cliff Kingsbury are on the same page. They're, he's not going anywhere, man. If I'm making my first head coach fired odds for next year, Matt Rule, Mike McCarthy, Cliff Kingsbury, number three. There you go. There I, you I, go. I, all right. Okay. I agree to disagree. Yeah. Flor, Flores O plus notes in the Oh, uh, uh, Let's comment. see what Cliff Kingsbury's excuse was for Hold on a second. Hold uh, this on. loss. Quick, quickly, quickly. O plus notes in the comments. Flores is fired after winning seven straight games. So, you know, stranger things have happened. What do you got, Breach? Kingsbury said maybe the guys weren't used to playoff football. That's a great excuse for a winning a, a coach that's going to take you. Oh, to and you know what the irony here is? You know what team in the playoffs had the least amount of playoff experience? The Bengals. There it is. They managed to win a game with no playoff experience. Cliff Kingsbury couldn't do it. Oh, uh, Brenton Northern Northern Grower asked in the comments, "How long are you willing to give?" Cliff Kingsbury to be average <laughs> next year. <laughs> no, I'm like, what, what? What's the record? I don't look even like Cliff Kingsbury. That's the problem. No. Like, I think he annoys me. Like eight like, games into the season, what is what can't their record be? Eight games into the season, what's their best worst record? The, what if they were seven and zero this year? I'm asking about next year. All right, what if they what go seven about? seven and ten next year? Then he would be on the hot seat for 2023. Are you? This guy is. Crazy. He's not getting fired if he goes seven and ten. Can you imagine? I mean, well, I mean, let's let me like what causes them to go seven and ten. Is there a Kyler injury? The coach. No, the, the coach. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's health, everyone's healthy, and they just crap the bed and go seven and ten. They're you. in a tough division. You said it. They're in the toughest division in football. So that's why they go seven and ten. They go one and five in the division, and they go uh, six and five against everyone else. My wife is harassing me. My dog is harassing me. You two are harassing me. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of a lot of arguments. Oh, man. I mean, so, all I'm, right. I'm in a corner and I'm lashing, baby. <laughs> all right. Let's go. I mean, the main, 
you know, the pairing of Kingsbury and Kyler Murray is is a main tent pole of, of his tenure in Arizona. How do you feel about where Murray's at after three years? Well, once again, he started off red hot MVP conversation, seven and zero, and he couldn't do anything wrong. He got hurt. hurt again. Well, yeah, I, okay, no one's disagreeing. You're already you're lashing out. I, is, I, I I I literally just said I'm lashing out. Like I, I, like I just told you, I'm this lashing. is this is this is Brinson in therapy, not taking a deep breath. Breach. That's what's going well, on. Well, and 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 Brinson, you went through the, their whole entire first half. You know, you, you start the game with four three and outs. Uh, and, and you think things can't get worse. You followed up with two interceptions, another three and out, and you're only Look, successful. That playoff game was Andy Dalton Bengals bad crap pantsing. Or no, pantsing. not that. That was worse than that. I yeah, watched Andy Dalton start four games. It was never this bad. That's no. true. Usually JJ Watt is on the winning end against when Andy Dalton. Ah. Oh, ho, ho! 